Hey guys, welcome back. I have my lights up, I have my tree up, I have my Christmas green on. It is officially the holiday season, okay? This video should be going up on Black Friday, so I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, and now I'm in full Christmas mode. So, I haven't done a gift guide in a few years. I just feel like personally, I'm never in the place to suggest shopping and gift ideas because I'm always so behind myself, but this year I'm trying to be ahead of the game, and I just started thinking, about some gift suggestions and ideas that I would give you guys and it kind of snowballed from there. And now I have so much stuff sitting in front of me that I cannot wait to share with you. These are all products that I know and love, things that I would 100% recommend. So I hope this helps you guys out and you're able to get some inspiration and ideas. That's what we're here to do. I think I have a lot of great stuff to share, so let's go ahead and get into it. So I have items all across the board. There's gender neutral things, there's a lot of things for my girls because of course, that's what I do best. For the girlies who love to cook, love to host, or just homebodies in general, there's for sure something for everyone. But let's start with a few hostess gifts. Obviously this is the time of year we're attending a ton of dinners, a ton of parties, events, and you really never wanna show up empty handed, especially if it's a holiday Christmas thing. And these gifts don't always have to break the bank to be extremely thoughtful. So first up, we have a classic bottle of wine, but I'm gonna tell you guys how you can spice this up a little bit. No one's ever gonna be disappointed when you walk through the door with this in your hand. Uh, but I wanted to share this one specifically because it's a super cute, Cute bottle. This is actually a female owned and founded company. It's a newer brand too, so it kind of has some fun little stories attached to it. Um, in the bottle, you can see is super cute. They do have a white that I love, but this is the red. Um, and this is kind of a conversation piece. Each of the bottle caps have a icebreaker question. And then even the back has a sticker where you can fill out the date, location, and the memories from this bottle. And then you can peel it off and save it as kind of like a memorabilia. So how sweet if you get this on Christmas and they're able to write a few Christmas memories on here. So this brand is called Whiny Baby. I don't think I even said that. I'm rusty at these gift guides. I'll warm up. Um, but it's a really cute, cool, like Gen Z modern brand. To make this more of a gift and to spice it up a little bit, you can pair it with a few wine glasses. So these ones specifically, I think look so cute paired with this bottle. It's just so bubbly and fun to be cute for a girlfriend or just someone who has, you know, really cute style and would appreciate this kind of thing. But also as a standalone item, wine glasses are a great gift. So these ones are from Great and Barrel and they do have an iridescent glow on them, making them a little bit more special and kind of fun to give as a gift. I did actually get these for my birthday a few months ago from my bestie and they're just so cute. In that same vein, if you guys didn't want to do wine, you of course could do a nice bottle of any kind of liquor, tequila, vodka, gin, whatever. Um, I think it's nice to get like a really pretty bottle to display. This is a bottle of Mezcal. I just think this like black bottle looks sick. An idea to pair with this is a nice pair of thrifted glasses. This is a huge tip if you guys don't want to break the bank. If you want to find a really affordable gift, sometimes it seems impossible to get something affordable without buying junk. I would suggest that you guys check out the thrift store. The glass section there is my favorite place ever. It's always the first area I look in because I always find so many unique pieces. I always call it buried treasure because it's like, I can't believe someone gave these away. I can't believe people gave away so many of the things that I found, um, but it's like one man's trash, another woman's treasure. Another way that you can add to this even more is by making some homemade dehydrated citrus. So I have mine in just this little jewelry bag, but you could make a ton of it and gift it to all your friends. I love homemade thoughtful gifts like this really because dehydrated citrus is also so expensive at little boutique stores, at the farmer's market, like places like that. And it's so inexpensive to make. You can use any citrus of your choice. I love the way blood orange looks. This is actually orange, but grapefruit, lime, lemon, they all look fantastic and just so cute to throw on a drink. So this is for your hostess. This is for anyone who loves to make their own cocktails. You even could just like tie this to the bottle of alcohol and it feels more personal, just like I was saying with the bottle of wine and the wine glasses. Next up, I wanna share some coffee. This also could be for your hostess or just the coffee lover in your life. Coffee is a fabulous gift to receive and I wanted to share this one specifically. This is Tiemann's Low Acid Coffee. This could be for anyone in your life who's health conscious or anyone that you know maybe struggles with GERD, acid reflux, anything like that that you know maybe they have some ailments related to the gastrointestinal department. I know so many people struggle with that and this is a coffee that they can drink because it's easy on their stomach and it's low acid. And to add to that, you could do a really cute mug. Um, this is my everyday mug. I just wanted to share it because I love it so much. I drink out of it every single day. It's a Yeti mug, which is not like super unique and crazy, but 
but it's great quality and they have so many different colors so you can definitely pick um, you know whatever color is best for who you're gifting but I just have the white one it's stainless steel on the inside I drink my coffee iced and it keeps it ice cold and it does come with a lid I just forgot the lid downstairs because I never use the lid because I'm usually just at home drinking it I don't put the lid on um, but they do have different sizes and different styles it's just kind of a nicer quality mug they can travel with it it's gonna last for a really long time I don't think it's just gonna get thrown in the back of the cabinet like so many mugs do I mean this is just two peas in a pod right here so we're still talking kitchen and home I think this salad spinner would be a fabulous gift because this is like the most genius thing ever let me show you what it is in case you guys haven't seen it so there is this lid on here that I'll take off and then inside is a strainer basket and then this also doubles as a serving bowl. So whenever I use this to make salad, I always serve my salad in this bowl. So basically you put your chopped up vegetables, lettuce, whatever you're doing, rinse it off, wash it, put it back in the bowl, put the lid on, and then you press and spin and it dries everything off like in seconds. I did actually gift the smaller mini version to my niece when she moved into her college apartment, but I've loved my salad spinner. Check it out. Even if it's for yourself, I don't think you'll regret it. It's a great tool to have in the kitchen. Another kitchen contraption is this vegetable chopper. I love this thing, you guys, and I believe it's around $25, which is a great price point, and so many people would appreciate this. So basically what this is, is a vegetable chopper that chops everything up nice and fine and all uniform. So that's what I personally love about it because I'm just like a perfectionist. I like everything to be the same size. And it's also just nice because you don't have to spend a ton of time chopping, which I think is what most people like about it. Um, so I usually just use this one blade. It does come with a few different kinds. Personally, I think this is a great gift. I I would have loved to receive it but I did buy it for myself so if you guys have seen my videos before follow me on Instagram I'm sure you know that I love Caraway. I of course had to share a few of their products because I use their stuff every single day. Sorry, that's kind of loud. I use their stuff every single day and love everything so much. So I do work with them. I was gifted this pan. I have the whole set, but I do have some things that I purchased on my own and that I was even gifted and a few more that I'm going to share in this video. And I'm just going to tell you why I love them. So everything is so beautiful and gorgeous. Obviously you can see it's like nice and gray and clean. Um, but the cool thing about these pots and pans, this is not sponsored by the way. Um, like I said, I do work with them but I'm doing this on my own volition because I love their stuff and wanted to recommend them to you guys um, so this is the saute pan this is just a good standard pan for pretty much anyone but what's super cool about caraway is that it's non-stick and non-toxic which those two things usually don't go together most of the time with the non-stick surfaces they have toxic forever chemicals is what they're called so it's just not great for you to cook with the toxic coating but obviously we all want pans that are slick and nice and easy to clean most of the time it has come with the consequence but with with caraway everything is non-stick I've been using their stuff consistently for over a year now and I can tell you they're always so easy to clean so easy to cook in and it still looks great so I love their stuff so much they obviously have a few different colors you can choose from while we're on the topic of pans I have to share an iron skillet would also be a fantastic gift so this is kind of a standard size I actually was gifted a larger one for Christmas last year um, I still use both consistently because they're just great if you guys don't have one or if you know someone that doesn't have one it's a great gift to give because it lasts forever and it's just such a good thing to have to cook with if you aren't familiar the deal with iron skillets is that every single time you cook in it it gets seasoned and all of that goes into each and every meal you make so everything just has a little bit more flavor when you cook it in the iron skillet and it's also extremely heavy duty so it's you know built to last and I just think it'd be a great gift so I'll try to link this exact one below or just some that I would recommend because there are a lot out there and I do think there's some cheaper options on Amazon that I would probably avoid like the ones that are like 1989 I don't know how great they could be and if they're even like actual iron or if they just have a coating on them to make it look like it's iron I'm not sure I would just go with something a little bit nicer if you were to give this to somebody because it's the kind of thing you want them to have for a while but to kind of add on to that you could throw in some spices some seasoning maybe a cute little oven mitt I'm gonna throw something together so you guys can see how it would look if you did like a whole little cooking theme with the iron skillet you can make it look super cute um, and I just want to share a few seasons seasonings that I would recommend as a gift. This Kinder's, it's called The Blend. It's salt, pepper, and garlic. This is like my favorite thing in the world right now because it's just so versatile. I put it on like every single meat that I make, salad,
salads, vegetables. I even put it on my eggs in the morning. Like every single morning I have this on my eggs because it is so good. So I think it's salt, pepper, and then garlic powder, maybe also some garlic granules because it does kind of have like a texture to it, which is really nice. And it's just so good. So you could use this for literally every single meal. It's something people will get a ton of use out of. I do think you can buy a duo on Amazon and then you can keep one for yourself and then gift one to a friend try it out see what we think it's nice cute clean packaging too um but they have so many different options like i always see them at the store and i'm always like looking at all the different combinations they have because they have a lot of unique options but this one is just like standard great seasoning um but then i've also been loving noble made seasoning and i do have one that i just finished that i don't have to share with you guys but i'll put it on the screen it's their all-purpose seasoning oh my gosh it's amazing i need it in like a giant container because i went through two of them so quickly another versatile seasoning that's just like herby salty garlicky good i just love it and then also their classic poultry seasoning i use all of my chicken and it comes out great every single time and also their everything bagel seasoning it's similar to obviously Trader Joe's everything but the bagel but I like theirs because it's more heavy on the sesame seeds this also I put on my eggs in the morning I love everything bagel seasoning so I have these two on my eggs in the morning me and Marcus both do we love it it's so good while we're still on the topic of cooking I want to share a few cookbooks that I personally really love I think a cookbook is a great gift you're gifting you know obviously hundreds of recipes but also experiences meals comfort these are the two that I I cook from most frequently because I love them both. Um, this is True Roots by Kristen Cavallari. She has launched a few, maybe one or two new cookbooks since she came out with this one. But I love this one because it's just simple and the recipes are good and approachable. And I make a few of them really frequently. And what's great for me about it is that everything is gluten-free, um, also dairy-free and refined sugar-free. So this is for someone maybe a little more health conscious, someone who doesn't like to consume a lot of sugar, maybe someone who has diet restrictions. Um, there's a ton of great recipes in here. And then also this one by Molly Baz. It's called Cook This Book. It's super cute too. It's like a fun color. It looks good on the counter. Um, I think just also buying something that looks aesthetically pleasing is always nice because even if they're not going to use it, they might set it on the shelf and have it be decor. And that's fine too. Whatever they want to do with it is fine. I can also attest to multiple of these recipes, specifically the smashed potatoes. These are my go-to smashed potatoes and they're perfect every single time. Um, she also has just so much information in here um, about you know what you need in your kitchen her tips and tricks it's extremely extremely detailed and I think it would make a great gift it would provide a lot of knowledge for whoever opens it up next up we have these low bowls from crate and barrel they're like the combination of a plate and a bowl it's like a lot of surface area and food just looks so fabulous in it it's like if I make a nice meal I'm serving it in this and it just feels like a restaurant and like it's just gorgeous and stunning um, so I love these so much I have a set of four and I have I've seen similar ones on Amazon, but I can attest to these specific Crate and Barrel ones being great quality. I've had them for a while and use them constantly and they're not scuffed or scratched up at all. They're still shiny and perfect and they just, you know, they look great. And as I mentioned, I love my caraway goodies. My brother actually gifted me these baking sheets last Christmas and I was like, wait, did you use my code? And I don't think he did, which is such a brother thing to do, but I love them nonetheless. Um, I use these so frequently and it's the same with the pots and pans. Like they are so easy to clean. You don't need to overnight soak anything. It just, it scrubs off no problem. And of course they look gorgeous while doing it. So I have the larger size, this one has the handles. And then he also got me the smaller one. And I love it because they match my pans and it's just super cute. You can even pair it with maybe some baking mix. I always love when I see people do like maybe the ingredients to chocolate chip cookies or something. Maybe you get some flour, some sugar, you know, chocolate chips and tie it up with a bow. Another gift that my brother got me last year that I want to share because I was so excited about it is a nice apron. So this one he got me from William Sonoma and I literally was just like immediately like, yes, chef, when I put it on because I feel like such a pro. It really comes in handy and it's just nice neutral cute looks good in the kitchen I love wearing it um, you could also get something customized or something you know a cute pattern anyone who likes to cook probably would love getting an apron I think it's just a cute like fun thing to have one more caraway product and my last kitchen thing that I want to share the caraway tea kettle so this is just so dang cute I love the way it looks I keep it sitting on my stove 24 7 because I love it so much and we use it so frequently and I was tempted to get the gray to go with my pots and pans but I thought the white just looked better sitting on my counter and going with my kitchen um, but they have different options so you guys can just pick whatever you like and whatever you think the person would like um, but you could also pair it with a box of tea I feel like Trader Joe's has a lot of really fun teas and obviously doesn't cost much to throw this onto the gift 
gift. Um, but I think this would be a great one because it's just, I mean, like how freaking cute is this? It also is a whistling tea kettle. I forgot to mention that it does whistle when it's ready. Very faintly, not anything like stressful, just to like let you know that it's ready, which is great. So love this thing, super cute, modern, fun. I love it. Kind of random, but I got Marcus this lunchbox for Valentine's Day a few years ago and he uses it so much. So if you guys have a boyfriend that goes into an office or, you know, takes a lunch to work every day, a nice lunchbox is a great investment. This Yeti one is super durable and just like nice and clean. My brother actually has one too. He has like an olive green color. So they have different options. This is like the charcoal-y black kind of color. Um, it's just pretty standard. It's not anything crazy. It does keep everything nice and cold um, and secure in there because it's a really nice like heavy duty deal. But they do have other options if you guys wanted something like with tiers and more compartments. You have a man that would appreciate like getting something Yeti. The lunchbox is a good option. One more Yeti thing. This is my brother's that I borrowed for this video. It's a really nice, again, heavy duty, sturdy. That's like the words that I've used to describe Yeti so far. A nice heavy duty, sturdy cooler from Yeti. This is great if you guys have a husband or boyfriend or even, I mean, a friend. If you have someone that goes to the beach frequently, someone that camps, maybe golfs. My brother always takes a golfing, um, fishing, like anything like that. I feel like guys are just more simple. So it's like, you gotta really just get to the point when you're gifting a man something. And this would be a great one for like a dad, a brother-in-law, brother, uncle, like just done deal, they'll be happy. It's a great gift. Next gift idea, we have a board game. I love this game so much. It's so much fun. It gets really competitive, but like in a good way. It's not anything too intense. Love a little friendly competition and code names is so much fun. It's basically a word association game and I don't wanna even try to explain the rules to you guys because I'm sure I'll botch it, but I'll link it below, you can check it out. It's split between two teams, but you can have as many people as you want to play. And honestly, I think the more the merrier, it makes it even funner, um, but it's also fun with a small group as well. It's just such a good time. Moving on to my last, let's say category. This is for, you know, like the girly in your life. Let's say even like a mother-in-law, mom, sister, best friend. I have some jewelry, cozy items, some books. Let's get into it. So first up, I love personally getting pajamas as a gift for Christmas. I think most people love receiving them because it's the kind of thing where it's like, you don't want to splurge on a nice pair of pajamas for yourself, but when you're gifted them, it's like the most luxurious thing ever. So these ones are from Skims. They're so comfortable, classic collared button. I think it's like Jersey material. They have other colors. I got the gray. Um, it's a long sleeve with a pair of pants and they are so comfortable. And I think having a matching pajama set is extremely underrated. So that's a foolproof gift for any girl in your life, honestly. On that same note of being cozy and just chilling at home, I have an essential oil diffuser. This to me is like a quintessential gift that I will give anybody because I think just giving the gift of essential oil diffusing is the best thing on earth. I have always had a diffuser. I think it's the most cozy, comforting, calming thing ever. I love the smell going throughout my house and in my room. I just, when I wanna chill out, I put my diffuser on and like relax and it's my favorite thing in the world. So this one is from the brand Sage, but they have so many on Amazon if you guys wanna find something more affordable. Even look at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, so many diffusers there. Um, and then I love pairing that with some essential oils. I forgot to say too, my best friend actually got me this last Christmas and it's like the best gift in the world for me because I also like that it kind of doubles as a decor piece. It looks cute in my room. It's not an eyesore. Then I also got their little standard bundle pack of their essential oils from the brand Sage. Again, you can find essential oils anywhere. The scents I picked out were orange, lavender, um, frankincense, and eucalyptus. I kind of want to smell the lavender right now. Essential oils, fantastic gift, stocking stuffer even. Um, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I just think lavender is like the best scent ever. Oh, it's so relaxing. I feel like I just like want to put my Skims pajamas on, get some slippers, some socks. Slippers and socks, also great gifts. Very standard classic gifts and it's for a reason. Everyone loves receiving that. You can even do like a cozy basket, pajamas, diffuser, essential oils, slippers, socks, tea, coffee, a mug. Like you could just go all out here. I really love a theme as you can tell. Now moving on to some jewelry. I obviously could be here all day cause you guys know I love jewelry. I have so much in my collection I could share. I know so many brands are gonna be having good deals for Black Friday. 
Missouri specifically is going to have 20% off their entire site. So it's a great time to pick up gifts. Miranda Fry, I'm sure is going to have a sale. Anna Luisa, Goriana, check all those out. I will link that playlist below. Um, but ironically, everything that I'm sharing today is actually from Miranda Fry. I do have a coupon code. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to apply it with the Black Friday deals, but it's just truly Jamie 10, just so you know. Um, but check them out. I'm sure they'll have a pretty good sale. Um, but the first one is this like paperclip style necklace. I've always thought of this necklace as a great gift because obviously it's super cute, but I do think it's neutral enough to be for any age group. It's also different enough where it feels special to give it as a gift. It's not just like a basic necklace. It's simple and wearable for every day, but it has a bit of flair. Of course, I have to share the Julia chain. You can get it in silver. Okay, it's stuck together. Silver, oh, <laughs> silver or gold. Personally, the gold is my first love, but I do like the silver as well. Um, this is a fantastic chain, I think, for the fashion girly in your life. Even for guys, this is like a great gender neutral chain, um, and it's just so gorgeous. So this would be a great gift. I wear it literally to death. And then also, I want to share the Drew huggies I have both silver and gold so these are basically just like these bubbly thick hoops that would look good on anybody so these are like that it girl style where it's like you know you guys know the vibes they're like the medium size hoop nice and chunky nice and bubbly they stand out but they're not too heavy where they're wearing your ear down they're just great great hoops so like I said I have gold but I also have silver pick your poison here so I wanted to keep it simple with the jewelry recommendations but while we're on the topic I think a jewelry travel case is a fantastic gift this one was actually gifted to me for my birthday for my best friend she would get me a lot of gifts, I guess. I've mentioned her multiple times in this video, but I loved receiving this because it's the kind of thing that I did not own for some crazy reason. I always bring all my jewelry when I travel in the little cases that you get whenever you buy a piece. Like Missouri always sends like a little dust bag, like a little mini bag. Anna Luisa always has a little pocket bag. So I always just like bring a few of those and put all my jewelry in there, but it's not super organized. So this is like streamlined. You have room for bracelets and earrings. And then also back here, there's little hooks for your necklaces which is awesome so this is a great addition and maybe if you were to give someone a cute little ring or a pair of earrings you could throw them in here and they can open it up it's just so cute so you can get this on Amazon I have this gray color obviously it has gold detail which is super cute and if you guys thought for a second that I was gonna let you leave here without hearing about my Kindle you are so wrong think again I mean hello perfect gift this is like the best thing in the world that you can get somebody especially if they're into reading or if they want to read more so i actually did gift my best friend a kindle a year ago on her birthday her birthday is actually next week so it's been a year now she had a reading goal of 10 books for this year and she has already exceeded it i believe she's on her 20th book which is just so awesome there's just something about reading on this kindle you read so much faster you're more inclined to bring it with you places it's just the best thing ever. I love my Kindle so much. I put a pop socket on it. Do that if you guys don't have one. It's a game changer. Just like, I mean, hello, so easy to hold. My boyfriend Marcus actually deserves all the credit for this because he got this for me for my birthday a few years ago. And I've probably read like over 60 or 70 books. Like I eat these books up on here because it's just that much easier and that much more pleasant. I love my Kindle so much. I'm a Kindle girly through and through. But of course, if you don't want to purchase a Kindle for someone, if you want to get something a little bit more budget friendly, I think gifting a book to a reader is like the best thing ever. It's so nice to be able to talk about a book, especially if it's something you've read before and you're gifting it as like, I love this book. I think you would love it. It's extremely thoughtful. It's usually under 20 or $15, so a great price point. Um, so I did want to share a few books that I would recommend as a gift, something just like kind of neutral that I think most people would love depending on their genre that they're into. So I think if you have someone in your life who loves romance, get them any Emily Henry book. I think just any of those would be a great gift if they haven't already read them because Emily Henry is just like the queen of that rom-com genre. I love every single book. The only one I didn't really like is People We Meet on Vacation, so I wouldn't recommend that one totally. Um, but I did love, like love, 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 Happy Place book lovers and what was the other one beach read those are all so good and so adorable so those are great um and then if we're going to do more suspense thriller kind of vibe because i know a lot of people are into that i personally love reading suspense and thrillers i would recommend any frida mcfadden book that's who i've been like obsessed with this year i have really dove into her whole collection and i just love her writing so much it's so entertaining but i would definitely suggest the housemaid i was just like completely enthralled in that one um that one was so good also flicker in the dark 
Park by Stacey Willingham is really great. The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. Those are all really great standard thriller suspense books that most people will absolutely love and just read in a matter of days because they're that good. If you have anyone that loves fantasy, like maybe you have a friend that was like obsessed with Game of Thrones or just reads all those fantasy books, you have to gift her a Court of Thorn and Roses. So it's an entire series. You can be presumptuous and gift the entire bundle, but I do think that's kind of crazy. Um, but you could just get the first book and let her dive into it and see how she likes it. And then she can get the rest herself and she will thank you later because, oh my gosh, it's so freaking good. I think anything by Sarah J Mass, but also Rebecca Yaros has become like this like insane fantasy writer in the last year. Um, Fourth Wing has just completely blown up. It is on my TBR, so I'm for sure gonna read it. And I know she just published a sequel to that. So I'm really excited to dive into that series once I finish The Corner Thorn and Roses. I literally have one more book left. I've been putting it off because I want to finish it, but I do plan to read it before the year is over. I'm going to be really sad when I finish because I just adore it and I think it'd be a great gift. So that is pretty much everything for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and got some inspiration, some ideas. Let me know in the comments if you have any specific gift recommendations that you want to share. Any little homemade thing that you give to people every year. Like I know some people that make like huge batches of cookies or you know like granola or bars or anything like that and they make a shit ton of them and then gift it to their entire family like if you have anything like that i would love to hear in the comments because i just love that kind of stuff i think it's so cute anything kind of like the dehydrated citrus it's just such a fun thoughtful gift so let me know let me know how you like this video and thank you guys so much for watching happy holidays and happy shopping good luck you got this the madness starts now, but let's all try to enjoy it. Remember what the season is about. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.